perfect, but um, for the most part, I was happy with it. What were you trying to accomplish doing that here in the final preseason game? I just wanted them to get live action of it. I mean, we've done it in practice a couple times, and this was the last time before we're going to get in the regular season, so it's the last time you can have the opportunity to do it, so I kind of wanted to do it this game. Do you want to kind of, I mean, obviously everything you do today is pointing toward two weeks from now in winning football games in the future. Is that something that you, you want to put in the back of team's minds that this is an option, this is something you guys can do? Um, yeah, I mean, it is an option. So whether it's in their mind or not, um, I mean, that's that's up to them. But I mean, we got two guys who can play. And um, well, we've been doing it in practice a little bit, wanted to do it out there in the game. And I think it's always going to be an option. Uh, I thought they did. Uh, I thought they did a good job. I mean, by no means was it perfect, but I thought just the function of it and going in and out and not knowing when it's going to be, um, you know, it wasn't a planned rotation or anything. I was trying to make it situational, so I was just doing it mainly off impulse and, um, you know, whenever the down and distance it felt like what we wanted to call. So um, those guys seemed like they handled it good. Uh, I'll meet with them tomorrow and watch all with them, which I'm looking forward to. But um, today I thought it was good. Uh, yeah, I think it's them. I think it's the team. I think it's me trying to do it, just not knowing exactly when. I mean, I, they both know it's coming, but you just don't know when it's coming. So I wanted it to be pretty random, and um, at least doing it today felt pretty comfortable. What do you think when you saw Jimmy Garoppolo uh, going for the end zone head first? Um, I mean, that, that's Jimmy. You guys have seen him lower his head and run a number of times since he's been here. So Jimmy has kind of got a linebacker mentality. Um, I'm all for him throwing it to hook it in the flat, too. Um, but I kind of like that about Jimmy, too. I mean, I don't ever want him to risk himself and get hurt, but um, I, mean, I think that's why guys fight for him. How did Trey make it through? It seemed like he went and hit his hand on a helmet or something. Yeah, I think he had a finger jam. I mean, it wasn't too bad from what I was told. Um, I'm sure I'll find out more about it later. What did you think of the way Trey created space for the running backs running out? Um, I mean, I think he only. I mean, I think he only ran it once. Um, so, I mean, just those guys weren't closing at all. So, Early, or at least the way that you know his presence had defenders crashing in on him to create space. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of happened with us later when their quarterback ran it too. It's just how guys want to play it, and um, they want you to hand it off. So I'm glad he made the right decision. It seems like he made the right decision on all of them. I think they gave him one opportunity to pull it, um, and he did. Jimmy's injury history, the way he tore his ACL, the fact that this is a preseason game, you don't say anything to him like, do not lower your throwing shoulder uh, and get killed on a one-yard run. Yeah, you say that to him on, in every game. Um, you know, it's not a one-yard run, it's a bootleg, and sometimes guys go for the end zone on the one-yard line, but I mean, I say that to him every single time. I mean, you don't want guys to lower their shoulder and risk getting hurt at any time. That's why I'd always prefer the throw to the guy, but sometimes it's hard to avoid that stuff in football. Jimmy going to start first week? Um, I mean, I guess we'll have to see. I mean, I, I don't like playing this game, but everyone keeps asking me that question. I'm not just giving the answer just to satisfy the question. I think we got a pretty good idea, like I said, all along. Uh, I think our team does, and um, we're pretty good with it as long as I can keep surviving press conferences. <laughs> How's that going for you? I'm all right with it. It's just trying to be respectful. <laughs> No, I mean, I did earlier in the week. I wanted to treat it more like what we've always done in the third game, and you always reach for a half in the third in the third game. Um, I was really happy with our practices on Wednesday and Thursday, so um, our goal was to get around 20 plays, and some guys were at 10, some guys were at 25, so it was pretty random throughout all of it. Well, you, you kind of indicated you did this the quarterback rotation a little bit by impulse and feel. Would you imagine when the games count, there'll be a little more structure, or...? No, I don't. I mean, everything you go in with a plan, but nothing in a game is real structured. I mean, you have a game plan and you just go and you usually got 40 seconds to make a decision, which, um, you know, it's less than that because you got to get it to them before 15 seconds. So that's just that's how game days are and it's hectic. And that's why we all have headsets on and with the substitutions and you do it today. We did it with quarterbacks, but it's a big deal with every position, usually except the line. What do you see from Jaquaski? Is he starting to look himself? What's that? 
Yeah, I was real pumped for Tar to come back this week. He had two really good um, days of practice. Um, you know, it was looking like a long shot for him at the beginning, but he started feeling a lot better um, down in LA with the Chargers. He was telling us how good he was going to look, and um, he went out there on Wednesday and Thursday, and uh, he wasn't lying. He had a great two days of practice. Um, didn't want to have to play him as much, but we had to also find out where he was at for this 53. I mean, we, we know Tard how good of a player he is and how much he can help us. Um, but today was really almost like his third and a half practice if you kind of walk through. So I was just really pumped he was able to go out there. And I think he played about between 25 and 30 plays, um, which was the goal to see if he could get through that. And I'll watch the tape and stuff, but I was just real happy that he got through it because we saw him playing at a high level in practice too. When you say that about how Jalen Hurd was able to handle his workload today, um, similar to what I just said about Tart. Um, you know, I was glad that he could get out there and get through it. Um, you know, it's he hasn't been able to practice as much, and I think he got about 25 plays today too. Um, I know some plays he'd like to have back. Um, a couple ca a couple drops there, it looked like. Um, but I was really I considered it a su success. I mean, that was his first time playing uh, in a couple years in a game. Um, he's had a long road to get back and get to that point, and um, I think it was a big day for him getting through it. Yeah, with those two guys, with Tart and and Hurd, is it almost more important? what you see from them tomorrow and the day after than what you see today? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. We know we got some good players there. Um, you're always trying to tell the future with, you know, you don't want to keep good players and get rid of some other players that you know can help you if um, you're going to hope you have those guys back in a few weeks. So it's always a challenge when guys aren't able to practice as much because of the injuries that they've had. That's why they stayed out there a little bit longer today. Um, we had to give them some time to get healthy where they had a chance to do that. And um, at least from what I've been told so far, it was a success with both of them. Mitchell, he missed valuable time in those first two games. How did he look during practice? And I thought he looked real, uh, real good. You know, he started out having a real good camp for us um, at the beginning of training camp, um, and then he um, he's been out here. I'm gonna say the last two weeks, and we knew this would be a big week for him. He was starting to feel better towards the end of LA. Uh, he had two and a half real good days of practice, and um, we wanted to make sure to get him in the game. To you never know about runners, especially rookies and stuff, till they get in that game. And um, he looked the same way in the game that he has in practice. So I was real happy with Elijah. Uh, it's real challenging. I mean, all of every guy that you guys have seen out there is um, ran like an NFL back, um, and we, those guys have done a great job. They've been great people throughout the whole thing. I know they're all pulling for each other too. Um, they're definitely making our job harder. For the quarterback decision, how much do you gauge the locker room's uh, opinion of who should start? How much is it just you? Um, I mean, you hope you don't have to gauge the locker room's opinion. You, you hope that. I mean, those guys are. It's really hard for them to do their job. It's really hard for me to do my job. It's hard for everybody. So you hope the guys have the confidence that we're doing things right. Um, I think our guys know us well enough that, I mean, guys always have opinions, I'm sure. But, I mean, um, I think our team's going to support us with whatever we do. Yeah, it was the same thing with him, too. You know, he's been in and out with some injuries throughout training camp, and uh, he had to play some. You know, it's such a fine line um, because, I mean, the last thing we want to do is get him hurt, um, but we also got to get him ready for the season, and uh, he has no problem going out there. We got to we got to hold him back, if anything. Um, and I think he ended up getting between 20 and 25, which was the goal going into it. I didn't plan on it lasting as long, um, but, I mean, it, I mean, our defense played real well at the beginning of the game. There's a number of three and outs. You know, I think they're on a rep count like nine um, halfway through the second quarter, so... Um, he got the plays, but uh, he was out there a little bit longer than I thought. But it, the same amount of plays I thought he would get. Held out four cornerbacks. Was that to allow the, the two rookies to get as many reps as possible? Uh, yeah, it was. And it was to take care of those guys, too. Is the defensive line going to be one of your toughest decisions on the 53? What's that? Is the defensive line going to be one of the toughest decisions for you? Uh, yeah, probably. Very important that we acknowledge that. And um, like you, you saw at the game today, it was, it was a meaningful. Uh, moment for everybody, but I just want to send the prayers out to the families of the victims and stuff like that to those soldiers and um, You know my family is gonna be in in their prayers and stuff like that as well. So um, Yeah, that's all I wanted to say Now we can open up <laughs> Yeah, um between the two quarterbacks, you know you get a little bit of a little bit of everything um, you get more. Uh, Jimmy is the the pocket protect the pocket passer, um, you know, making plays and stuff like that. But then you also get with Trey. He could do you know run and pass, and so 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 can Jimmy. Um, as you saw today when he scored that touchdown, 
Um, but yeah, it, it's nice to have both the quarterbacks in and um, just get a feel for both of them, man. It's, it's truly a blessing. Yeah, they uh, they definitely was eyeing, eyeing Trey, um, and then that just opened the game for me and, you know, other running backs and stuff like that, even even receivers, you know, just the dynamic of everybody, and um, Kyle's doing a great job with both of them, and um, I'm just excited to see how this thing plays out, you know, in the season, so um, it, it's, it's nice, though. Feel to be out there again after a little. Hey, I felt I, it felt good. Um, I haven't played ball since you know uh, November, December, due to injury from last year. But um, it felt great being out there, and uh, I was I was I was happy. I was excited. Got some explosive runs and stuff like that, and just need to make sure I carry that on over to the the, the opener um, against Detroit. So you guys have kind of dabbled with zone read type stuff past year, but not this. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, well, you know, um, we've been doing the zone read for some time now. You know, when CJ was here, he was doing a great job with it. Uh, Nick too, um, and, and Jimmy as well. Uh, but yeah, when when you have a guy like Trey that can open open things up, you know, you got to readjust to those those different quarterbacks. But all in all, you know, it's still the same plays that you know we we gotta we gotta do our part. And uh, as running backs, we just got to make sure that, you know, we don't grip the ball too hard or, you know, just automatically assume that Trey's going to pull or anything like that. So, um, you know, it takes practice. And once you get that practice in, it's definitely, you know, it's going to be it's going to be great. So more every year you've been here, you know, the, the running game kind of takes on a new identity. Mm -hmm. Do you kind of get maybe even more thrilled than, than in the past at all the different Right now. Yeah, this run game, you know, we could definitely do a lot more um, now that we have Trey. Um, but, you know, our, our mentality is still the same in the running back room. You know, if we get that opportunity, we're just going to flourish. Um, we're going to we're going to make those plays and we got to do what we got to do. Um, and that started off with uh, Coach Turner. You know, he he implemented that uh, to, with us, you know, some some years back. And even before he got here, um, he was still doing the same thing. Um, when he started coaching, just implementing how important the run game is, and um, as you see, it's still still important to this day. So we just got to keep it keep it keep it going and make sure that we understand the the, the offense and you know just go out there and do our thing. Coming in and out as quickly and often as they were this morning. Does that catch you off guard in the huddle all? Or <laughs> it, it it catches you off guard because you know I'm used to having Jimmy in there the entire time. So then you know when Trey comes in, it's just like, oh hey, there's here comes Trey. Hey, what are you doing here, five? <laughs> but no, nah, it's, it's cool, man. It's it's definitely unique, man, and it's honestly fun. It's fun seeing that. It really is. We've talked a lot about how Jimmy commands the huddle. For people who haven't been in a huddle, what does that mean, and how does how does Trey command? Them? Yeah. So uh, when Jimmy commands the huddle, you know he. He wants to make sure everybody's doing their job, doing their assignments, and when he gets a play call, he understands, hey, you know, hey, he'll tell somebody, hey, look, I'm looking for you in, on this play, so you better get open. Or he'll say, hey, he take off, you know, and just go ahead and run. Um, same thing with Trey. When he's in there, too, he's doing the same thing. Um, he's learning a little bit more from Jimmy, and he's, you, you just see him grow. I thought I was going to get in a little easier than that hole kind of close quickly, but you got to do what you got to do to get in. Sounds about defense kind of scrambling when you – you're out there and your guys are going back, obviously, them, but you feel the hesitation from them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely feel it. Uh, I think even with me and Trey running on and off, the tempo is still pretty good. So there's a couple of times getting the line where they're still making calls and things like that, and you can tell it's tough on them. So that's what we're trying to do. What are you things to get used to as far as, like, looking at the play clock when, when you're coming back in after Trey comes out, and, and what, were, what was kind of the checklist of stuff that you guys wanted? <laughs> That was one of the things I was trying to do, just because uh, Kyle's trying to get in as quick as he can, but some of them happened a little later in the play clock. So, I mean, there's always new things that you're trying to adjust to and things like that. But uh, as far as as far as the checklist, today was kind of the dry run of it, I guess you could say. So, that went pretty well, though. You could say so. That went pretty well, though. Did Drew Brees talk to you and Trey Lance about what to expect <laughs> in a two-quarterback situation? Uh, we talked about it, me and Drew, a little bit. I don't, I don't know what he talked to Trey about. Uh, but, yeah, we talked about that for a little bit, just the situation in general. Drew had some good insight on it. He's, uh, you know, he's been through it all. He's literally played in it. And so, uh, yeah, he gave a couple pieces of advice just 
you know, stay ready, things like that on the sideline, but it's just something new that you have to get used to. Yeah, I mean, I understand instincts take over the game, but you have had injuries. You did lower your throwing shoulder the preseason game. Um, do you, like, you know, afterwards say maybe that wasn't the best idea? If I would have got hurt, that would have been a terrible idea, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, knock on wood, thankfully, uh, the good things came out of it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, when you're out there, you really can't think of things like that. I know you're supposed to. It's just hard. Things happen in a split second. And, uh, yeah, I tried to just, you know, submarine below the two of them. <laughs> Didn't work out so well. But, no, it, it, uh, I'm all healthy and everything feel good. So, How would you assess just how? Uh, I thought it was good. I thought – Honestly, I thought it kept getting better and better as we went, which is what you're really trying to do. You're always trying to improve, not take steps backwards. And I thought just as a whole, as an offense, we did that. Even, I mean, I would say as a team, we really did that. And we're kind of on the upswing right now. I know we got a long way to go, and it's going to be a grind of a season. But uh, you know, I like where, where we're at right now and where we're going. I think uh, we got a good mindset in that locker room right now. You know, we got some dogs on this team, some guys who have played in big games and been there before, and you know, we're trying to get back there. Obviously, you don't have a huge say in the matter, but if what we saw in the first two drives is the way the regular season starts and goes into the regular season, um, how can you make that into something that benefits you and the team? I think that in, in and of itself benefits the team. I mean, we had two successful drives with it, uh, scored on both of them. I mean, it's tough for defenses to handle that. And uh, I've never been in that situation, but just seeing it firsthand here today, it was... It's hard on them. So, you know, whatever's best for the team, I'm here for it. Just uh, it's one of those things, it, whatever's best for the team, you got to get behind that and be a part of that. And I think that makes for you as the best player you could be too. So, you know, it's all tied together. We're all in this thing together and, you know, we'll see where it goes. A couple more, please. Been around a few blocks. How do you feel this season? Uh, I feel good. Like I was saying before, I think we're uh, kind of improving day by day. I think each preseason game really has gotten better and better. This is probably our best one as a whole. Just all three phases working together and, uh, you know, playing complimentary football, scoring before the half, all those things. It's just uh, when you're clicking like that, and I know it's only preseason, but that's where you want to be going into the regular season. So we'll, uh, we'll take these couple days, you know, get our mind right and start getting ready for Detroit. Is that the way you practice it to you? Kyle would just tell you right at the moment when you're coming in, it wasn't pre-planned even practice? Uh, we've mixed and matched. I mean, to be honest, we've done every... <laughs> flip-flop that you could imagine in practice uh but it's just something like, like i was saying before it's something new something you gotta get used to and i think as the more and more of it we do you know the more things you get creative with and you know just see what works you mentioned last one this is the best for the team um, having this rotation with the different skill sets does it take you a second i mean as a, a starter who'd probably like to play 60 straight snaps in a game to say this is best for the team um and kind of just, you know, accept that, I guess? Uh, honestly, it was, I think, coming into it, it was weird at first, you know, just having to process the whole thing. But after being out on the field, I mean, it was, it was fun. It was, uh, when we're clicking like that and a defense is scrambling like that, it makes it hard. And, you know, we're trying to win games out there. And so whatever it takes, we're going we're gonna to do that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Fair amount for the final preseason games. Do you know you're, you're going to play that many snaps? Yeah, um, it was a plan to uh, play about 20 plays. So I think I had about 16 um, going into the half. Well, at halftime, um, and then they just was like I was good. So. Is that important for you? Uh, you had to, I don't know, some type of, some type of playing rhythm. Um, I think it's very important um, to just get out there and try to establish some type of rhythm against somebody else other than the people you play against every day. Um, so I, I think it was very important. Um, I wish I could have played more, being that I haven't only I haven't uh, been out there um, much. So. Um, for sure, um, just not getting done um, as much as I would like. Um, I feel like I'm I've improved, regardless of how much uh, how I've been out there or not. But uh, all in all, yeah, I've been pretty frustrated. Um, 
just missing time being with the guys. You know, we got such a, a great group of guys. Um, so it's been frustrating on that in that aspect, um, just being around people in general. Um, from top to bottom, everybody is, has been playing at a very high level. Um, no matter who it is, everybody's been just excelling. Everybody's been getting better every day. Um, it's just very encouraging to see, and I feel like I'm, I'm very blessed to be in the position that I'm in, to be around the group of guys that we have. Well, you didn't get a chance to play here in front of home fans last year, so what did it mean in that second quarter when you were getting everybody riled up down the end zone? Um, that's just something that I do. Um, I've been doing that since college, so I mean, I've been just waiting on some fans to be out there, you know, just get them going a little bit, that type of stuff. But yeah, I've been doing that for a long time, so it's nothing new. Did the vibe out there seem unusual at all in terms of the fans in the stands with the, so many Raider fans there? Nah, I mean, no, nah, not to me. I didn't really, I didn't really, I saw more red than I saw black, so. I think so because hopefully I, I want them to keep everybody we got. You know, it's it, we we bonded so much over this uh, this training camp, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be if some guys go, it's gonna be hard to see them go. You know, it's like a real brotherhood, real family type vibe. You know. All right, thanks, Bob. Hey, what was your your sense of how the Raiders were reacting to two quarterbacks coming in during those first two drives? Um, I don't know if they changed a lot, not that I noticed, especially um, between when you know when I was coming in, when Jimmy was coming in. Uh, but it was awesome, you know, to to get looks at it in practice and and obviously in a game setting was awesome. Feel for you going in and out every couple plays. Uh, I was prepared for it, so I think Jimmy was too. Same thing. Uh, I'm sure he answered it the same way. It's one of those things where we we had repped it, like I said, so it was good to get game reps and kind of really see how it really feels. Can you describe? Your touchdown run, and that was one where you kind of rushed onto the field with a yeah, it was uh, another zone read. Um, the end crash, we brought Jalen Hurd in motion. Um, and yeah, the end crash, so kind of probably the, one of the easiest rushing touchdowns I'll probably ever have. Uh, but the offensive line did a great job and, and made it really easy. You scammed or hit your, your uh, fingers late, late in your time. What yeah, I, just, I don't really honestly even remember what play it happened on, uh, but I, I think I jammed it, yeah, like on a helmet or something. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm not not worried about it. Uh, I'll see how it feels tomorrow for sure. I think it will tell a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, not not too worried about it at all. Sure, you mostly hand it off. Um, have you been given specific instruction preseason game for the injury? Run the ball too much? No, not at all. Um, obviously, like if I'm, you know, gonna take a shot, get down, but that's just playing football, you know, at, at the quarterback position, really at any position, um, to try to protect myself and obviously, you know, get what I can and get down or get out of bounds. Uh, but yeah, it's just what the reads dictated today. That's how they played us. They wanted me to hand the ball off, um, or at least that's that's the way they played it. So uh, that's what I did, and obviously, hand the ball off to Elijah Mitchell, Trey Sermon, you know, Wayne Hasty and, and Raheem. Uh, it's fun to watch what those guys can do with the ball. When you're subbing in, do you already have the play when you're going in, or do you run in and then get it and then? Yeah, so uh, Coach Shanahan gives the personnel, um, and I have a personnel grouping, so came in with, with my personnel grouping. Jimmy hears the same thing. Nate on the sideline, same thing. Um, so, yeah, coming in and then obviously hear the play after I get the, the personnel grouping kind of once I get out there as I'm running out there. A couple more drops today from your receivers. A couple of weeks ago, you said you want to throw a more catchable pass on the underneath stuff. What do you have to do to make that adjustment? Uh, it's just playing football. Um, it's just, yeah, I don't, I don't really guess have an answer for it. Um, just going to continue to try to get better, get used to throwing to these guys and, and vice versa. Uh, they've been doing a great job. Um, receiver room, you know, from top to bottom. Uh, it was awesome having River back. He made a big catch today, too. Uh, but from top to bottom, those guys have done a really great job. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's my job just getting the ball. You were saying it was fun, fun to be out there. Was it fun for you? Do you get kind of an adrenaline with you guys shuffling that court right now? Uh, it's fun. I, I trust Coach Shanahan, and I know Jimmy does, and our whole team and, and locker room does. Um, you know, he's going to find ways to, to get the guys that need the ball the ball um, and do whatever it takes to win games. Uh, so, it, yeah, it was a ton of fun for sure. It was good to get into rhythm, and, and obviously those drives when we were going back and forth, you know, ending up with, with Jimmy scoring that first touchdown was a lot of fun.
sense that they were almost respecting you as a runner much in terms of opening up space for guys? Uh, I don't know if it was that or that's just more of the scheme uh, that kind of we expected going into it. Um, but yeah, if I, if I can hand the ball off to those guys and, and my read doesn't tackle it, then that's a good thing. Oh, it's awesome. Those guys, just the energy they bring um, in, a, in a huddle, um, in the locker room before the game. Uh, those guys are, are definitely guys that, that you can tell have been doing it for a long time. It looked like long times with Elijah. Maybe one guy was going one way, the other guy was the other way. And on, on, on the pitch, where you, did you have to kind of stop yourself the ball went up in the air like that? Yeah, it's just a ball handling thing um, and just communication and reps. You know, it was awesome to have Elijah. He did a great job today having him back out there. He had a couple of really, really big runs uh, and some big plays on special teams, too. So it was good to see him healthy and, and back out there. What kind of first impression did you have of watching right closer speed up close? Uh, I've, I've seen it in practice for the last, you know, since, since May. So uh, it, it was a ton of fun. Obviously, he's a special guy and, and doesn't really look like he has to try that hard to run that fast, which is, is very fun. I'm glad he's on my team. You noted on your, on your touchdown run that Jalen Hurd was in motion, Trey Sermon's in the backfield with you. Three guys that can, can run the ball were back there. Did you see the, the Raiders kind of respecting that, reacting to that? Um, I mean, I guess I don't know what, what their plan was defensively um, exactly, but uh, like I said, I think it was real similar to what I saw on tape, uh, what we saw on tape as an offense. I uh, kind of expected it, and again, just I'm going to hand the ball off until I can't, until, the, until the, the defense makes me keep it. Um, and like I said, offensive line did a great job, made that uh, a pretty easy walk in. How would you assess how you perform this offseason now that it's over? Uh, it was it was a ton of fun. Learned a lot and still continuing to learn. Um, and just super thankful to be here, thankful to be in this organization, in this locker room. Um, and I think things have been going well uh, in my estimation. Uh, so continue to going to continue to to try to get better and learn as much as I can throughout this season. Thank you, guys. How did you come out of this game? I felt it felt good. Uh... Uh, I've been real confident ever since I came back, and uh, I had the one play where I just uh, hit knees with the other guy, so I started limping a little bit. Well, been, I mean, you've dealt with injuries a lot in your career. How difficult has it been? Uh, to be honest, this has been a this has been the toughest injury I ever you know had to overcome. Uh, initially, I thought I was going to be back for the start of training camp, and had a had a minor had a setback. And the setback was, you know, pretty much just trying to get flexibility in my toe, and it was just being, it was just being tough on me. But I mean, uh, training staff, everybody got together, got a good plan for me, and the plan, uh, it was, it was a good plan, and now I'm here. Did you ever have a dark moment when you feared you couldn't make it back? Uh, no, I mean, I, I knew eventually I'd be back on the field, but you know, never a dark moment. Less than three weeks ago, that Shanahan you know, that indicated you weren't particularly close you know, to coming back. Obviously, you are back. Were you surprised yourself? Was there like kind of some surprising breakthrough you had? Uh, I mean, it's tough because uh, with the toe, it's like they say, uh, this a certain time you should be back, but just dealing with a toe is at a certain point, like it, like it just, I guess it just. Gain flexibility when it when it chooses to, but I mean, uh, just the plan, the initial plan we started, it just you know, it was very productive, and we just kept working at it, and I kept gaining more confidence and more confidence because I was gaining more flexibility, and really just trying to take it day by day. I wasn't trying to think too far ahead, and I think just taking it day by day helped out a lot, and now I'm here. At the same time, did you feel like you needed to show something by the end of camp to make the team? Did you feel like you're up against a, a deadline? Uh, I mean, not really, no. I mean, I, I kind of know where I stand with the team, and I mean, uh, so not really. You look at this defense and, and just see what it's capable of, knowing that you have a lot of familiar faces in the secondary and really strong defensive front, also a linebacker in front. I mean, uh, it's 2019 vibes for sure. I mean, but that was 2019. We. We still working, like to see we still got like two weeks left for the first game. So we, we know we gotta keep grinding and get better as a team. Your assessment of uh, Talanoa today working with him with the starting group. 
Uh, I, I love him, man. He he has a lot of energy. He, uh, I mean, he's 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 doing his thing right now. He's balling. So I mean, it's good to see that from a rookie, and you know, he's taking advantage of his opportunities. Kind of a strange question, but what do you do? Is it a lot of waiting with the toe injury? Having that injury, what are some of the things you do to gain flexibility? Uh, a lot of, uh, really a lot of like calf raises, a lot of football movements, just being able to to just get that angle so your toe can just bend. Like, uh, it's different angles, you know, when you taking on a block and even running. So it's just like just being able to get the ankle from your, I mean, the angle for that toe to bend. And that's pretty much what we kept working on just to. Just keep, you know, just keep trying to gain more and more flexibility. So it's like take two steps forward and one step back, but eventually you're just going to gain a step forward every time. you have a new appreciation for how important the toe is? <laughs> yes, sir, for sure. Like, you can't do anything without that big toe.